Welcome back to the show. My name is Darren Cabral. I'm the CEO of Suit Social, and we're a digital advertising agency that helps companies build their brand, generate more leads, and make more sales online. Today, we are talking about paid advertising versus SEO, which is search engine optimization for small to medium-sized businesses. The question here really is, if you're looking to invest in either or, because obviously, listen, if you have the budget, if you have the ability and the scale to do everything, everything is great, do everything. If you can afford to throw money at it and go in every direction, you have the resources, more is always better. But if you're a small to medium sized business and you're really trying to figure out what you wanna invest in and where you wanna focus, and you're trying to decide between paid ads and SEO, I wanna talk a little bit about the differences so you can understand what might make more sense for your business. So let's start with SEO. SEO, search engine optimization, is basically optimizing your website and your content in such a way that it organically ranks on search engines so that people, when they're looking for something related to your product or service, will stumble upon your listing your website and hopefully inquire or do business with you, right? So you ever search for like, you know, local plumbers and someone came up on top, they have very strong SEO and that's probably driving business. The downside to SEO is it's a long-term game. There's a lot of components to it, it's quite complex, and it's more an art than a science. There's not really an exact timeline of when it's gonna work, how effective it's gonna work, how much you're gonna rank for, how long it's gonna take. Um, and it's something you really have to work on and invest in over a couple year period to properly get a result long-term. That's meaningful, right? Like to start ranking top of the page on search engines for a bunch of different keywords and a bunch of different searches, that will take you time. It's a good thing to do and I think every business should start. The problem is if you're a small business and you're trying to hire someone to manage that for you, you might be putting out thousands of dollars a month for years before you really see any sort of you know income from that, right? And so again, if you can afford to do it, it's great or maybe if you can afford to do it in the house in the background, that's even better, but that's SEO and, and it's a great thing to have, it really is. It just depends on where you are in your business. Paid advertising, on the other hand, is when you're actually paying to display play ads on platforms like Facebook ads, Google ads, and you're just paying for that spot in front of a customer. You're not optimizing things and waiting to be found. You're just saying, this is who I wanna be in front of, this is what I wanna show them, put it in front of them. And you're paying every time it gets in front of them and they click it or they engage with it um, or they come through from an ad. And I really, really like paid advertising because of the level of urgency you get out of it. You're able to get a result right away of course, there's testing and optimization involved, but I've many times turned on a Facebook ad campaign or a Google ad campaign and got a lead the same day. It might not be fully optimized, it might be spending more than I want to, but those leads are coming in right away. You can feel the results, you can measure the results. It's very much a direct response type of activity. You get a lot of exposure really quickly. You're not waiting and hoping and like praying it works. It's something that you know works right away. And personally, I love that. So yes, the downside to paid advertising is you're gonna have to pay for it. You know, you're paying for your ad spend ongoing. If you stop paying, the ads stop and it goes away. Whereas SEO, you stop paying, you're still gonna maintain a lot of that search rank. So it's a good long-term investment, but SEO is a poor short-term kind of return. It's not good for short-term cash flow. And that's why I say it might be a wise move to mix both. You're probably gonna want some strategy that's a mix of paid advertising and SEO, but it's something that if you're a small business, a medium business owner that you want results now, like you need cash flow, you need money coming back in, you're gonna probably wanna start with paid ads, build that up, and then start running SEO in the background. And you'll find even once SEO picks up and you're getting a result, you don't wanna stop paid advertising ever either. As long as you're building your paid advertising campaigns in the right way, where you know your numbers, and you know that for every dollar spend, four dollars is coming back, why would you wanna stop that? Usually the goal of paid advertising is to keep spending as much as you can as long as it gets that return. If you start spending $4 and getting $2 back, it's no good. But so long as a dollar's going in and $4 coming back, you're gonna wanna scale that out. And so stop thinking about you know what's better, this or that, and start thinking of how to work it all together. But I mean, the short answer, paid ads versus SEO, if you're trying to get a short-term result, you need money now, you, you actually need those leads, you need deals, you wanna see an outcome. Paid ads are the best place to start right away, but then SEO is the thing you wanna invest in long-term in the background and then build out later. So hopefully that helps answer the question and address kind of the issue if you're trying to decide on which one to use. And if you have any questions, as always, drop a comment below. You can check out our website, www.studsocial.com, and we'd be happy to help you make the decision, learn more about your business, and maybe even see if there's a way that we can help you accomplish some of those advertising goals as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.